are magic damage there as well. The only physical damage they have is the Aatrox, which is not someone who can really threaten tanks as well as, as some of those squishies. Play, so Sligo just said, you know what, I'm actually gonna ward because I think this is a trick. And I'll have vision if whoever's going through mid lane. Sneaky down to 200 HP. Afro was there, but they can't take a lockdown. They're now on to Zazel. As Sven comes around the wing, Vision's there, so Bang's able to back off, and the potion is on just in time, but on is in for a little too long now. The back and forth, thinking everybody's gonna make it out alive, and they stay for the last moment. Yeah, I couldn't tell if Onda just missed the flag <laughs> drag or got interrupted on it, but either way, Bang was already running out. Yeah, this is one of those cases. They're shot calling on point. And that is where you really kind of have to track them to see, is this team improving? Can they actually challenge? Who's going to really go for it, though? No push here from Licorice just yet. Not seeing anything in the bot lane, but a fight. Sneaky's going to stay alive on this one to deal with the Ignite down. Zazel has to be careful. And a low Afro move getting out with ults on. Onda low going down. Nice hit by Saligo. Saves Onda's life, but the auto attacks from Niski are enough as he can't get far enough away. Saligo now to run lane, away. Mid lane is pushed in as well, so... And the only thing is if extra members come around here, but someday getting chunked pretty low. You can see Aphromo is roaming up, so we'll see if they expect him. There's the headbutt. Locked down quickly by the Aphromo. Aphromo took that Glacial Prison immediately. Teleport's coming in now from someday as they try to get in. Actually, that's going to be Ezreal, I believe. Yeah, Bang's in the fight now. True shot browse right off the start as they lose Anda. And it is not going to be quick enough for Bang entering the party. Nobody stays for the rest of the fight. Two to zero now for Cloud9. Yeah, Anda goes straight in and just dies immediately. Didn't have the stopwatch or flash off the last fight. Sneaky's going to be able to have some free time in the bot lane to shove in here. And C9 again winning out on this play. After moves ultimate down just after that last fight. And this could be another pickup on the cow. They could take him down. A good hit. Ring of Frost by Saligo to save his member. And now Bang's going to be there for help. Things are really touch and go right now. As 100 Thieves can get a little ground on the map, but they're losing more ground than not. Yeah, good peeling from Saligo to keep Oh, alive. Bang! Into the bottom side of the fight, Sable takes down Niski. This is a big fight here for 100 Thieves if they can keep it in their favor with Bang Healthy. Another kill coming through for Saligo, and now they're on to Sunday, or on to Licorice, I should say. And saving him, Sunday now healing himself back up. Licorice is going to go down. Bang's in the middle, trying to get some more shots forward. Saligo will not follow the claw into the fight. A back and forth, but 100 Thieves, very nicely done. Yeah, Bang just popping off there. Are they not going to try to defend the eye? I think they can stay around. Cataclysm on to Zazel. Defending the eye would absolutely be huge. It's around 40 seconds that it stays. So they do. And you can see just how much pressure this he has on him with an early ultimate, sending him right back to base. You're coming in on a team that is in last place struggling, and he's looking good. Gonna get taunted off of Sven Skarin. Anda and our Anda and Afro move. We're gonna leave, but Bang no. Ult. Anda goes in with the Cataclysm. True Shot Barrage not actually doing too much damage as it crosses two members. Sven Skarin and Zazel. Anda goes in. Afro move looks like he's in a real sore spot here. Gets slowed one more, but the ultimate's on, so he'll be able to To have there on the Aatrox. Sneaky grabs first hurt on the bottom side. Damage here on this squad, so he's going to kind of go for a higher DPS build there with the Triforce. We'll be interested to see if that third item is going to be straight into... Oh, Ooh, his Merc Treads may give him a little bit of help here as well. He gets to the back line, but that's still going to be the front line, according to C9. They take down Afro Moo as well. Beat Patties all around as Someday tries to get a little bit of damage in. What they wanted, but now biting back. Nice job getting the Drake out as C9 is recouping from Purchase and coming out of base. Yep, we'll see if Bang is going to go into the Blade of Rune King or Gunblade. I think probably we'll see Blade of the Rune King this game as they're without the sword boots. Yeah, and, and there is also just a lot. And if you look at this top jungle here uh, for them, you can see how Honda getting jumped on quickly. That's the vision we're talking about. Glacial hits Bang, but he's able to get out of it very quickly. A little bit of a pause and fight there as everybody was holding their breath. We see Aphromoo going down very fast, even Whoa. with the ultimate on. Now they're on the hand up. Saligo's just on the side. He's going to take the claw into the Ring of Frost, but he's still not able to provide much damage. And they are just dropping 100 Thieves left and right, turning upside down, shaking out the lunch money. Someday's the last one left. He's going to be trying to do his damnedest under the turret, and it's not going to be enough. Sanguine pool, but that's all he's got left. Sneaky flashes forward, and that's the ace for Cloud9. Sneaky getting the delayed Quadra there. Four kills for the Corky. They're going to be straight to Baron. And it's like so much vision in this area. Gotten so many wards into that 100 Thieves red side jungle. They're able to find the fight. They're able to get a clean. It's very hard to actually defend these waves, right? C9 going a 4 1 split here. Aatrox in the mid lane, shoving up those waves. And he's playing it very safe because he knows if people don't show to defend this, they can just get the inhibitor tower for free. 100 Thieves not even going to be there to contest whatsoever. 
Now the mid lane turret is going to fall here as well, and Hunter Thieves has certainly struggled at this point of the game when they have yeah. been here before. They have not looked to contest. We'll see if they try to make their stand or if they're just going to bleed out these inhibitors as the first one almost certain to fall. Second one is going to be starting to get pressured here as well. The critical decision making. Do we watch it go down? Do we take it right before it goes down? When do yeah. you take the perfect fight? How much can you give? That's a question they have to ask themselves here. As they're actually moving forward to poke away at the Nexus turrets, you know, 100 Thieves have got to kind of pick their moment here. They may just lose the Nexus turrets. An interesting fight. Someday in Licorice in a 1v1, Triple a 4v4 cannon. inside the base. Three cannons on the outside. Zazel kind of trying to body block here <laughs> as Bang's Mystic shots are coming in. Now they have different attention on the Siege minion, so it won't keep taking that same turret down. But it is one Nexus turret down, and now another inhibitor turret. It's legal low, put the cell fault down. Alphamu looking for a way in from the side, but he cannot. He just retreats. Now he may have the back line in his eyes, but Sneaky staying just out of range, and they're able to fire in the damage now from the outside. Sneaky going low. Bang can only hit the true shot barrage. The mystic shots are just missing as Cloud9 is able to dip and dodge past the damage of 100 Thieves. Eyes are on that last Nexus turret, and it looks like C9 might be here to stay with Licorice yeah. teleporting back in. Yeah, I think he's going to TP back in. They're just going to go for a straight up end. 100 Thieves waiting too long to try to take that fight and not able to find it. So C9 looking like they're going to close this one out, Riv. They're going to push themselves forward. 11 and 3 in their record book as they take down Al for a move to pad the stats just a little bit more. 28.30 on the clock here as C9 skirts around Bang, making sure he can't get the KDA. And Cloud9 take down 100 Thieves. Very clean finish there from Cloud9 once they had the advantage. Five for zero fight into Baron, into just ending the game. And 100 Thieves, the mid and late game woes continue, but Cloud9 gonna cruise to an easy win here in 28 minutes. And they look good. And locking in that spot for the top six as well. Cloud9 feels very good coming out of today. And as Reaper, super happy. They weren't tanky, it's okay. That's what he said, it's fine. It was true, they never got tanky. They, uh, you know, just completely Kind of fell apart in that one fight yeah. around the mid lane. You know, Bang certainly a couple errors getting caught by that Sejuani ultimate a couple times. Put them in a, in a bit of a rough spot. Mm -hmm. Final team fight there was not close whatsoever. 100 Thieves as well, trying something new this week, coming in with Saligo, as we were saying before, performed well against the options he was put against in TSM's.